Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. Ah. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Yeah. Use a skill, watch a beat. That's another Peaky D. Yeah. Doing everybody bad. bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. Nah. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got a shot. Mad library in now, watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Dog. Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Yeah. Yeah. Be truthful yeah. with yourself, you know you ain't messing Stupid with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. How? And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Hey, hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, Dougie Bone, man? We back on the Madonna with another banger for y'all boys, man. Y'all know what I know what y'all here for, man. Y'all here for the Madonna 24. And everybody who's here for the Madonna 24, let's get right into that right here. Sight. Well, what you thought they were finna be, boy? First off, we got a runner right here. Who want to run the ball 50 million times for 50 million yards? We... This ends up being actually an amazing gameplay that you're going to want to check out. But before we get into that gameplay, I want to read you guys a snippet from EA. Because EA acting like Debo in these streets. So EA dropped this uh, when participating in Confidential Madden 24 Closed Beta. You must refrain from recording, streaming, or, or and or capturing any portion of the closed beta. Right? Cool, you can't, you can't, you, we've always known that you can't stream. This is where these niggas turned into the Madden, uh, the Madden cartel and just got the dominating out here. You must also not post videos. Cool, watch this. Thoughts. Nigga, you can't think about the Madonna 24? Discussions. We can't talk about what was going on in the Madonna 24? screenshots or stream the closed beta on social media or the internet doing so will result in removal from the closed beta as well as potential bans on all Madden nfl account boy if your ass try to stream that madonna this what it's gonna be like yeah get your ass up out here mom yeah, that's right that's right call for your mama Man, that's crazy. So, and then what I was thinking was, if I can't discuss the, what happened in the gameplay, what happened in the beta, none of that. I, but then I was like, y'all can tell me in the comments. Then I was like, no the hell y'all can't. <laughs> y'all can't say nothing, boy. EA will track you down and they'll get the punching on you, man. Like, EA, they not playing no game. They said, shut up. Play our game. Don't tell nobody on the internet what you didn't seen it, and then buy it. That's that's straight. Hey, you gotta respect that type of gangster, bro. You gotta respect that type of gangster, man. That's that's pure thuggery. You feel me? Pure thuggery on the line, man. EA really out here getting a suge night on, man. It, that, it's a beautiful. It was that maybe not beautiful to y'all, but. Boy, hey, that's gangster. You know what I'm saying? So, I was going to ask y'all, and this is not, we not about to discuss any gameplay thing related. Why y'all think they had did it that, though? Because last year, you could discuss what was, oh, my God, D-line pick to the cripple. You could discuss what was going on in the Madon in your game, uh, in uh, a video. You just couldn't have any actual gameplay on a closed beta. But I think because there was so many negative Comments, y'all fought again, bro. I told y'all, y'all niggas cry too much, man. Y'all didn't ruin everything, cause every everything about the game, y'all wanna want. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, the D line users don't feel as crisp. I tried to do a a, a spin move, and when I lift up the arm, his arm came back down and then negated me. You know what I'm saying? So now we can't even say nothing. We can't say nothing because y'all spent this whole damn year crying. Let's not forget last year. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and let's be honest. The Madden cycle is going to be exactly what it is. 
when this game dropped, everybody who was crying about 23 is going to be saying how great this game is. Probably about the first month. Then they're going to regress and be like, I mean, the game cool. And then, 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 then the, the waterworks going to come out when the meta, when it becomes clear what the meta is. Same thing happened in 20, 21, 22, 23. I even heard niggas saying, I, uh, man, 22 was better than this. Like, no, it wasn't, boy. Do y'all remember what 22 was? Escape Artist, Low Ball Wheels, uh, Red Route Glitching, RPO Glitching, Under Center Escape. Y'all just don't remember, but it cool. I'm 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 excited to see how y'all switch it up, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of ruined uh my plans because you know what I'm saying when when the betas get to drop and that's when views and interest in the game shoot up and it allows us to make a couple extra dollars. Love my love my pepperoni and cheese. So with them kind of putting their foot in the, foot foot on our neck right there. Shit kind of hurt my feelings, man. But I do want to give everybody a huge thank you, man. Uh, everybody who wrote a happy birthday post to my daughter on my video yesterday. She was elated, bro. She was so happy to read that. You know, she a cloud chaser. You know what I'm saying? To see everybody celebrating her. Um, you know what I'm saying? And all that. So I, I really appreciate y'all because, boy, you know what I'm saying? She, she, she expensive. You hear me? Parties on Saturday. Today, as you watching this, I'm, I should be either getting dressed to or heading to my cousin's funeral. Which I do not want to go to, man. I hate funerals. I had to go uh, get my hair retwisted. Because I was supposed to get it done on Friday, but my cousin's untimely passed. And I had to get it done Thursday. Because I'm going to be at the funeral all Friday and the, and the repass. And you know the repass is going to turn into... Uh, spades and drinking and the repast is gonna turn into a party type shit. That's how I go in, the, in black families. If you if you saying it's not, you a whole lie. If your the repast is gonna turn into a party, you know what I'm saying? The the liquor gonna come out, the music and what was a somber situation and what wild niggas was crying is gonna turn into a celebration of life. Cause that's how black people roll. You know what I'm saying? And then, oh, look, look, look. So I went to go twi get twisted by the lady who uh, always does my hair. And there was a barber on duty. I don't fluff with random barbers at all. But I'm like, damn, I don't feel like going all the way over here to my barber. So I let dog. I'm like, I get dog a shot. Man, come on, man. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, boy, Chris beat me up something crazy. I, I looked, I looked, I looked. He gave me the mirror. I looked at the mirror and looked at him. Looked at the mirror, looked at him. Give me hugs, man. Come here, bring it in. You know what I'm saying? Cause a barber is like part of the family for real. I said, boy, you did, you did, you boy, you got me crispier than 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 the uh, crispy chicken sandwich from Popeyes, man, for real. So it was just a blessing to find dog. But I know y'all wanted uh, to talk about the gameplay. We can't do that. So let's 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 talk about what we can talk about. This amazing gameplay right here. As you can see, this is my first time getting a rock. It is the second quarter. Um, I already got the D-line pick six, so I'm up two possessions. I know a lot of y'all like, yo, um, you only got one uh, pick. Yeah, but I get ball at half. You got to count that. You know what I'm saying? If I could kill a, a couple of pieces of this clock, which I'm not going to do via a uh, chew clock, and then going to the half up. 14-7 that uh, that other possession is exponentially because that's that's what the second uh, possession does puts me up a, a, a couple of pieces of points and we gonna be litty in the city uh, how did you guys feel about the fan appreciation packs I thought them shits was hella me you know what I'm saying I did like the fact that they gave us extra golden uh, ticket tokens I use mine on my Lamarius uh, Jackson the third you know what I'm saying so now he's a two AP quarterback the other one I'm probably going to use on defense. And if I, I just put Vanguard with the extra AP, because I'm going to keep the bug. My offense runs perfectly fine with with with, with uh, 6 AP. So it's not a huge, big thing that I need while 0 AP. You know what I'm saying? It's not a huge thing for me. 
So I'm probably going to use that third one on probably like uh, another secondary player. If they give us one with like wild knockouts, like if we get one with two zero with some zero AP knockout abilities, then that's probably what I'll use it on. We'll see what happens with that Ted Hendricks. Y'all let me know uh, what y'all going to be doing. That CJ Gardner Johnson that dropped his ass. Whoever created that card, you and my Dukes need to fight ASAP, bro, because I have no clue what will possess an individual to, to put a safety with Lurker and Acrobat. Uh, safety's got built-in Lurker, bro. The reason that you put Lurker on a linebacker is so he animates like a safety already does. Man, I punch you in your goddamn face, man. Godly, that's the only thing, bro, is like when you let casuals build cards, they build the bodiest cards ever. They build every card like a user. If you notice, every golden ticket that has dropped that is a secondary player, they have user abilities. You know what I'm saying? Pick artist acro. That that like you want that on your user, that combination. You know what I'm saying? Like if it don't if like what we want to be able to have is maybe a flat zone mid zero. Uh, don't don't do no damn knockout zeros, man. I'm sick of it, bro. So right, like, look, I just went went on a rant, man. I've been crying all day because of this stupid uh, Madden Mafia, Madden Madden Cartel. Just dominating us like this, man, and just just ain't really had it in my heart to be on the Madonna today. But I did have this banger of a gameplay in the stash, and uh, we definitely finna talk about it more in the second half. One thing I have been doing out of bunch for people who like verticals, I've been zoning here, like halfing or third or whatever, and I've been flattening here. And then I'll click on this guy and press. The reason I click on him because I don't want him to press. I, I don't like pressing on solo side uh, receivers because when they get beat over top, you know what I'm saying, it's just a, a sideline streak. That could easily go for a tug if they create enough separation. But, yeah, zoning out here, deep blue in here, flatten here. For people who love to go verticals, he's not one of those people. But it's been working out uh, uh, very, very nicely for me. He's a, essentially, he's a Henry guy. He's running the, uh, the Andre offense, which is bunch offset, audible to have back tight doubles weak. And then try to get your dot on, man. Right here, hits me with a corner route, but we right there with Deion. I want to get rid of Deion. So, I, 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 I can't get rid of him because his AP bucket is so good, bro. But I don't want the Negro on my squad, man. Like that animation where he knocked it out was okay, but he should have acrobat. He should have animated with that acrobat. That's my only issue with Dion is he does not animate enough, man. Randy Moss animates on everything, bro. So coming out in the second half, we up 10-7. If we can go down here and pick up some good yards, then we'll go up 17-7, get that two possession lead. That I always be telling y'all that's super important in the game. And essentially, we could uh, now just do the back and forth thing. As long as I don't turn the ball over. But that's not a guarantee with me at this point of the Madonna. It's just not. I be reckless out here, man. I be just out here and this bit playing. That's the first gap shoot I've seen all year. No joke. That's the first gap shoot I've seen all year. That was cold. But yeah, I've, I've just been reckless for the for the uh, majority of the year as we hit this post route. That's been so money for me. I have an idea of what I'm gonna be running for 24. Um, I can't wait for you all to find out as we hit that deep uh, corner. I'm it is it, it, it's, it's, it's gonna be uh some time for me to put together the ebooks for Man 24. So I'm gonna need y'all boys to be patient as we take that in and get that multiple possession lead. Because I'm not I'm not somebody who's going to drop an ebook the first week of the game. I'm not somebody who's going to drop an ebook the first two weeks of the game. I I really need to put the, put my shit together. Because if you, anybody who bought an ebook for me this year, I ran my ebook the way I sold it to y'all in the beginning of the year. 
the same way the whole year. You know what I'm saying? The same way. Anybody who watches my videos versus seeing what's in the ebook, you know I ran the ebook the same way all year. So I want to make sure that the content and the and what you purchase for me is something that'll transfer through the entirety of the year. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people kept hitting me up. Unk, when you gonna update your ebook? Nigga, when have you seen me update anything in real time on the field? I'm running this the same. Now, of course, um, I got more brazen with with route with 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 adjustments, trying out new things, etc., which I expect you all to do because the ebook is nothing but a blueprint uh, to how I play defense, and then you add your own flavor. I'm gonna be real. If your flavor is ass, don't add it to my ebook. Just do what I say. Cause there's a lot of people who tried to add flavor to my ebook, and that flavor was smelling like booty. And you was out here running my offense, looking like booty, and people was messaging me, or they was in my comments telling me, "Hey, he running your shit in his real doo doo." So please don't do that. I know there's going to be a ton of adjustments as to how I run, especially wide nine, but I feel like it'll be better because high balls, I'm I'm 100% sure high balls won't be a crazy thing in this next match. And when high balls aren't a thing, especially for a guy who plays zone, it makes it a lot easier to play zone defense. Because this year, we just really just highballed through damn near every zone. We just highballed over top. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm very, 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 very excited to get going with that. Just so you guys can see everything we, uh, what, well, I'm saying we, me, everything I'm cooking on. Look at me including y'all in the cook-up process. Knowing damn well y'all ain't finna cook up Nathaniel. So, right here, 17-7, um, I'm trying to hold to three. Easier said than done. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing hella aggressive defense to uh, try to get this hole. He went uh, halfback draw, which was great for me. So we end up blowing that up in the backfield. This is where it gets like to the nitty gritty because you want to play this wild aggressively just to protect yourself against the run. But at the same time, when he gets the motion and niggas out and doing all that, I wanted to man him up with curse. And then he ends up running the ball. We blow that up in the backfield. We get him the fourth down. This is the down where you overthink, bro. And it's exactly what I did. I overthunk, man. Because what I was thinking was, okay, I need to hold this area. What I wanted to do was hook here, flat here. Just for the wheel route. And then because a lot of times when they go wheel, they go out. You know what I'm saying? So I was playing for the wheel route. I'm playing for the verticals route here. But I got the hook in case this vert hook here. And I should have left him in a deep blue. But I'm thinking because I'm going to be like aggressive in this area because I didn't hook curl here. I need to play this more and I and I uh, hook curl him to match anything drag route coming underneath. And he just hits me right over the top. Like if I stay with my second mind. Well, my first mind and run it exactly how I'm thinking, I get to stop right there. But my biggest issue as a Madden player, bro, is I overthink. It's one of my biggest gifts, too. You know what I'm saying? I overthink sometimes. So now it's a three-point uh, three game. I need to drive down here and get seven to try to put this game away. So first play, we go QB draw, pick up great yardage, you know what I'm saying? Good 12. Good 12 of them things off the reason. Now, if I can do that every play, I'm going to be good money. You know what I'm saying? I'm going a, I'm to a kill clock, but I'm not going to chew clock just because it's boring. I feel like y'all get way more out of it when I give my opponent a money drive. And then, I, and then I'm, I'm on defense trying to bag up. You know what I'm saying? So, right there, should have hit that uh, slant route because his zone drops were backed up that the slant actually did get underneath. I just didn't know that that was uh, Trey Lance right there. And I think Trey Lance gets a free mid zone. So there was a chance he could have knocked that out right here. We go up top, try to wide catch it away. Ball gets knocked out third and 16. We in a, like, a really tough spot right here. I'm thinking cover four. 
but he's gonna send pressure off the edge, and it, and it gets through, bro. And we just throw a fucking laze beam. Oh my god, tell me that wasn't a nasty laze beam, bro. So right here, I'm sorry. Uh, so right here, I'm I'm kind of I looked at abilities beforehand. I seen he didn't have any knockouts. Like I know he doesn't have any knockout, just a pick artist. So I throw that right behind him. No, he has a one step ahead. And I don't think he has a pick artist. He just has one step ahead. One step ahead, amazing man ability. But you won't animate on the ball like that. You know what I'm saying? So I throw right at him with an inside pass lead. My thing is if he snaps on it and grabs it, he does. But I'm I don't have to worry about a knockout. You know what I'm saying? Or him popping a ball up in the air or anything like that. So I end up throwing that wheel route right behind his head. Perfect pass lead. Pick up the first down. We we in a good spot now. Now, smart me. Uh, beginning of the year, Unc. I kill this clock and win this game. June, Unc. Hell no. I'm finna play reckless as hell, boy. Cause that's just the space that I'm in on Madden, bro. Like a lot of y'all sick of Madden. Me personally, I'm making the game enjoyable for me. And the way that I can make it enjoyable for me is to play this shit hella fire reckless as we dot up again. And essentially the game is over. Right? Like this game is cooked. Technically, but Unk is Unk, man. Unk is Unk, man. I'm a does what I does on the Madonna, man. Like, I can literally just run the ball. I can take all this clock of swords away from dog. You know what I'm saying? By just kneeling out, but I don't do that. <laughs> and I fumble with a ball, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's stretch. Ugh, let's stretch. And, and, and get ready for this bottom half, this bottom stretch of this game, bro. So right here, uh, I play pretty good defense. He takes off with Tebow, picks up a couple yards. Usually, utter destruction would have happened earlier in the year. At this part, it's diabolical laughter. You know what I'm saying? It's diabolical laughter. Villain-type laughter, if I could be real with you at this point in the game. Because... I know I'm doing a whole bunch of wild shit on this field, man. I know I was supposed to kneel it and run it, take his timeouts, kick three, give him the ball with like 15 or less seconds left in the full field to work with. I'm very aware. There was no way I was going to do that, though. You know what I'm saying? I, wa I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to get the rage quit from Dog. I wanted him to know. Yo, he defeated me, and I had to concede the game because of the level of defeat. But now it's looking like I'm finna lose. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, it's looking like I'm finna take a nasty L. So I gotta kind of put my big boy pants on, get out here, and play a couple of pieces of the defense. And my thing is, with no timeouts, I would much rather send pressure at you than go coverage and, and, and like adjust these and give you a chance. To dot me uh, up the seams and on the sideline for another crazy route. Like right here, I'm cool. I'm going to tackle you. You're going to hurry up, burn that eight second runoff, and then you spike the ball. So 24 seconds to score. All I have to do is just continuously send pressure. And what the pressure will do is not allow you to throw the ball towards the sideline. That's what I'm doing. Right here, I man him up because I knew he wanted that little post route. And the pressure, but we still send pressure off the left side. You know what I'm saying? Pressure gets there. We get the saccharoni and cheese. He spikes with four seconds left. And now he's going to try to kick the game time field goal. Really good defense by me. But stupid stupidity to even put myself in that situation to even have to play good defense. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my daughter just called me again. She on bumper, bro. Like, she literally called me and said, Daddy. Hey, can you entertain me? Like, what the fuck, bro? My mom said she can't entertain me. Call call your daddy. Girl, she with you. Y'all doing y'all thing. So right here, he goes have back tight slot. We've we been, we been, like, destroying his run all game. It hasn't really been an issue for us. 
um, when he audibles down, you know what I'm saying, the bunch, I feel like it's been more of a struggle than anything. You know, uh, as you can see, we won the, the kickoff. Deferred to him because I felt like we can get a stop. It's 17-17, so it's not like it's like hella fire offense that's being played right there. High ball. No need to high ball, but we all feel a need to high ball. And I think that's going to be the biggest challenge when we going over to this next Madden is kind of getting ourselves uh, prepared for Madden 24 uh, and not highballing as much because I think I could, I could speak for damn near everybody when niggas is highball sources out here, bro. That's, that's just what we've been doing. So, again, I'm getting a good feel, you know what I'm saying, for what he likes to do, where he likes to go with the ball, progressions-wise. He's wasting downs with these runs because 14 carries, 32 yards, he's not getting anywhere. We shooting, we should, we blowing it up in the backfield every rip. But as much as if he continues to run the ball, you know what I'm saying, he'll, it puts more pressure on him when he you lose yards to kind of get those yards back plus some. And then it could it could force some foolish throws. As you can see right there, pressure gets to him, making a third and 23. He really fluffed up right there. I know second to 12. I know it's a pass. I know he's looking this side corner route. And then my, my, my first read is just to see if he streaks or not. You know what I'm saying? Then that's going to let me know what he's about to run. As soon as I see he got bumped and pushed on the inside, but I knew it was still a streak. So I knew he was going corner route. Pressure bearing down. He feels the pressure. Because he gets bumped so much to the inside, We he matches here. And then he's supposed to release him to uh, my dog, Fleon Sanders. And uh, he, as you can see, Dion matched there uh, late. And we get the intentional grounding. Third and 23, we finna do the same exact thing. There's no reason why. I give you any time, bro. Any time. Third and 23, yeah, go ahead. When you motion him out, it just lets me know I now have to cover this wide area of the field. He tries to throw the corner out again. He actually gets it and picks up the first down. So this shit, it it, it, it had me infuriated, right? Because I know he's going corner out. My expectation is for the pressure to get home. You know what I'm saying? Pressure to get home before the end. If I'm like if 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 I'm thinking clearly, I just go ahead and put him on a flat at thirty, flat at twenty five. So he just sits here. But are we not at a place in Madden where I'm actually thinking well? And then if you look at the blitz, he 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 picks it up even with the motion out back, and it was kind of my fault that he got picked up. But he backed up so far in the pocket, still delivered a dot. Now it's fourth and one. I'm not worried about the run, but I am going to play. I am looking at the underneath. You know what I'm saying? I am looking at underneath coverage. We play really good defense and full your shot, guys. Get the piggy D by Dion. Um, I shade it inside, and then I put Dion. I, I can't remember if it was an inside third or what I put him on. And then he actually quick hiked me, so I had to take away that left side of the field. And then it just so happened he was running the post to actually get uh, the, the one play tug as we hit him with a deep corner of our own to get in field goal range and actually put the game away. You know what I'm saying? And he ends up quitting out. We end up getting a dub. You know what I'm saying? Uh, good win. Good quality opponent. Again, that's why I love Mutt, bro, because you just you just facing dog after dog after dog, man. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay, and I'll get it y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.